Well, it's about time that Offit did an air show. We haven't done one in six years. That's right, six years. And it's about time we get back to business. We have recovered with flair from disruption stronger than ever. The previous wing commander, KT Thompson, uh, used to say we had the trifecta of terrible from 2019 until today. We had the flood, we had the runway under repair, and then we also had the pandemic, as did everyone. And we are back, as I said, stronger than ever. And we've been here at Offutt Air Force Base. I don't know if everyone knows this or realizes it. And we celebrated this in May, but we've been here 100 years. And so now our goal with this air show is to inspire the next 100 years. We have been modernizing and we have been innovating within the Air Force and we want to show it off, especially with the Thunderbirds who are coming to Offutt Air Force Base. We're going to put our modernization and innovation efforts on display and you'll see a whole lot of it and you're going to be inspired. We definitely want to thank the Defenders of Freedom Air and Space Show team. They've been amazing partners and we can't wait to see what we've got for the Offutt area, for Bellevue, for Papillion, for the Omaha area, and our friends in Lincoln as well. Um, I'd also like to read this to you. This is our Fallen Warrior announcement. We are deeply honored to announce that Marine Corporal Deegan Page will be recognized by the Thunderbirds as a Fallen Warrior during the air show on Saturday. Corporal Page exemplified his commitment and self-sacrifice of our military personnel. His legacy embodies the patriotic spirit and dedication characteristic of the people of Nebraska and the Midwest. So we are very excited to open our gates and that you will join us on August 24th and 25th of this year. Come on out to the Offutt Air Show. All right, thanks. I've got a great team of subject matter experts and we are ready for questions. But before we do that, I'm gonna hand it over to our Air Show Director, Major Bryce Neal. Thank you, sir. All right, uh, good morning. Um, as Colonel Howard mentioned, Major Neal, I'll be the director for the 2024 Air Show. Um, on behalf of our Air Show Planning Committee, I'd like to extend our gratitude uh, for taking the time uh, to all those partners and uh, agencies that have uh, taken their time to help us in these planning efforts. Uh, we're excited to host the community. Uh, again, as Colonel Howard mentioned, uh, this event, it's, uh, our theme is inspiring the next 100 years, and we can't wait to invite the community onto the installation to see what it is our men and women do every single day. Uh, we've been diligent in our effort to provide a unique, one-of-a-kind air show, and uh, it, it's highlighted by many of the amazing aircraft and pilots that tour our nation on the air show circuit today. These include, for military demo teams, the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds, Army Golden Knights Jump Team, the C-17 KC-135 Demo Team, the F-18 Rhino Demo Team, military flying acts to include some of our local aircraft, the E-4 and the RC-135 that will be uh, performing the show as well, Civilian Flying Axe, Red Bull, we've got Playful Air Shows, and the KC Flight Formation. Um, and then the return of some iconic warbirds that you may have seen it off at in the past, the P-51 Gunfighter, uh, MiG-17, and the Trojan Flyers, as well as many other local experimental and warbird flying aircraft. Other ground performers include the Dream Big Entertainment, featuring a life-size F-18 cockpit display open to the public. And then we've got uh, Shadow Strike, offering an opportunity of an experience to simulate an up-close view into a military operational mission. Uh, lastly, we've got the Heartland of America Band based here at Offutt. We're excited to show off their performances. Um, you may even see Maverick and Iceman uh, touring uh, the air show for photos to be taken with family. Um, one of the key focus areas for the 55th Wing and for Offutt Air Force Base is the exposure to STEM-related activities uh, for our youth. This year we're excited to bring uh, a STEM activity center, which features many partners from the local area to include Metropolitan Community College, University of Nebraska, Omaha, and the STEMAHA, which promotes aviation and STEM careers in the metropolitan area. Up next, I'd like to invite Master Sergeant Heath uh, to discuss security considerations and protocols. Thank you. I'm Master Sergeant Heath, uh, 55th Security Forces Squadron. I'm in charge of security. I'm going to be going over a few security details that you need to know prior to coming to the air show. First of which is going to be prohibited items. We have posted a list of prohibited items on our social media platforms along with the air show page. Some examples of these items are going to be weapons, drugs, 
uh, aerosol cans, things of that nature. Please review this list in its entirety prior to coming to the air show. If you are in possession of any of these items when you arrive, you will not be allowed in. Any individuals that are 18 years of age or older need to be prepared to show a photo ID and or passport. All individuals coming to the air show will be scanned for all prohibited items um, through metal detectors. We're still a federal installation, we still have requirements. There's gonna be a lot of security at this event, many of which are gonna be in uniform. If you witness anything that is suspicious, find somebody in uniform and report it immediately. That being said, our plan for this event is for it to be a fun, safe, and positive experience for the community. But if anybody shows up, they don't follow our procedures, they make it unsafe in any way, or they make it a negative experience for our community, we'll have a plan for them as well. We have security and cameras everywhere and we will be monitoring everything. Next to brief is gonna be Dr. Embry. All right, thank you, Sergeant Heath. Uh, good afternoon, as previously mentioned, my name is Dr. Stephen Embry and I'm the medical director serving for this year's um, Air and Space Show. Uh, our goal as medical staff is for all guests and air show participants to have a safe and enjoyable experience during the show and during the festivities over the weekend. We've assembled a fantastic multidisciplinary medical team of military and civilian medical responders and will be readily available to offer assistance should anyone require medical care throughout the weekend. A few specific points I wish to highlight are the following. First of all, the air show is taking place during a historically very hot time of the year in the state of Nebraska. And there's a very limited shade around and near the flight line where the flying operations will be taking place. Heat illness and dehydration are therefore very real concerns and visitors can help protect themselves by drinking plenty of water and electrolytes, not just during the hours that they're at the show, but also in the days leading up to the show. Furthermore, I strongly recommend utilizing at least a 30 SPF sunscreen, wearing a hat, light, breathable, protective clothing while they're in attendance. Additionally, if you're someone who's been prescribed a potentially life-saving medication, things that immediately come to mind, albuterol rescue inhalers, EpiPens, diabetic medical supplies, etc., I ask that you actually bring those supplies with you. As Master Sergeant Heath mentioned, uh, there will be some pretty strict uh, security protocols and those will ultimately flag when before you come on the installation. So it's very important that you have a proper prescription and that medication labeled so at security, you can show with your photo ID that it is in fact you that this is prescribed to. While we will have plenty of emergency medical capabilities available throughout the show, there's no faster way to get an emergency medicine into yourself than if you bring your own versus having to come and get, up, get it from us at the medical tent. Um, lastly, I ask that all patrons be good wingmen and look out for those around you. As Master Sergeant Heath said, if you see someone else who appears to be having a problem, alert the closest member of our medical team. Preventing a medical problem is always much better than needing to react after one develops. We look forward to serving you the weekend of the air show. And again, I'll be happy to take any questions when that time comes to the program. Thank you. All right, I want to thank everyone that, that participated, uh, our SMEs and with Colonel Howard and Colonel Gray. A couple of things. Uh, the air show actually is the 24th, 25th, but we have activities actually starting on that Friday. Uh, in fact, the performers will start to arrive on Thursday. Uh, the media will be invited to uh, arrival and rehearsal day. Uh, those times and dates, we will provide those once they become solidified. Uh, also on Friday is a, a big community engagement day. We'll be having students from Bellevue West and Papillion High Schools to come out uh, on that Friday, as well as our Make-A-Wish Foundation. Uh, we'll be having an engagement with the Thunderbirds as well. It's a traditional thing that the Thunderbirds have that relationship, and we're going to provide that here at Offit. Uh, at that time, I would open up for any questions that you guys may have. Again, please, if you can identify yourself and who you're with, and then we'll have the appropriate SME answer that question. So any questions from the media? We did that good of a job? Good. So with our Eddie Messel and KTV, what's some of the, I guess for people who have it, it's been a long time, what's some of those newer uh, things that people can expect to do with that? The differences from previous years? Nugget, you want to handle that one? Sure. Yeah, we've uh, we tried to take as much continuity that we could from previous years and try to replicate it. But again, uh, people move and change positions throughout the Air Force. So uh, we've done a pretty good uh, job at replicating most of that. As far as uh, new items, I'm, I'm really hoping there's not too much a change from air shows in past. So we're trying to keep as much of it the same as we can, especially coming back after a six-year hiatus. So, uh, 
Emily from the World Herald. This has been six years. What can people expect? What is the show to that they had never been before? What can they expect to see? Can kind of get some details about what people can uh, enjoy? Sure, yeah, uh, flying will, once flying begins, um, we've got uh, our flying acts spaced back to back throughout the day for about a four hour time period. So it'll be a mix of uh, fast fighter jets and then uh, heritage aircraft and some civilian flying aircraft. Highly suggest bringing hearing protection as uh, for those that have never been to an air show, uh, they get very loud. So uh, hearing protection, uh, containers for water, we've got uh, partner with the concession stand so food and water will be available as well. Um, but certainly just uh, show up and expect to have a, a great time. Steve got KTV. Years have passed, you've had a shuttle system like uh, Bellevue High School and that sort of thing. Is, is that going to be uh, the norm this year? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, so on the note of uh, shuttle services, the parking and shuttle service plan for the upcoming show is, uh, is yet to be solidified. Um, Offutt Air Force Base is not hosted in six years, as you men mentioned, so there are a lot of changes that we're navigating through uh, right now. Uh, 2019 flood and devastation have left portions of the base unusable for parking as years passed. Um, and we've relied on, uh, our, our reliance on the on-base parking is, is uh, shifted to more off-base. So paramount concern is ensuring positive seamless experience for the folks attending. And uh, we're diligently, diligently working on finalizing uh, those parking details for the, for the public. They should be released at a later time. Any other questions? I think just to add to what's different about this year, it's not every year that we're able to get a premier uh, demo team like the Thunderbirds. Uh, I think the last time we had them was 2016. 2016. So that was great that we got them, and we also have the Army Golden Knights here. So we have two premier demo teams. Uh, so we're kicking, we're coming back strong, stronger than ever, and we're really looking forward to this. All right, if there are no more questions, I want to thank you guys for that. I'll be on the side if you guys have any additional questions or details you need. Thank you very much.